Hello guys and gals, and welcome uh, to another episode of Skills and Abilities! Today we're going to be going over the skill known as Cloak of Shadows. Cloak of Shadows is an extremely powerful skill that the Assassin has at her disposal, and um, it has some pretty ridiculous connotations. Um, I would really like to talk about the Cloak of Shadows um, as... Yeah, mm -hmm more than I think what most people realize that it is. It's definitely an ability that you should be utilizing a lot on your assassin, if you can possibly do so. And um, it, it really doesn't uh, do the best when you pour points into it, though, and that's the unfortunate side effect. Um, and, you know, for this reason, let's go down into the cellar. And let's have some fun with this ability. So when you use Cloak of Shadows, um, what it does is it puts a little steamy pile, a little steamy thing over top of their head. Um, it's basically a blinding effect, uh, very similar to Hit's Blind Target. Now, Hit's Blind's Target um, is one of those skills that you can utilize to make monsters not shoot at you or not hit you, right? Well, the problem is, is that when you use a blinding skill, um, you'll notice that at the very foot of the monster, it's kind of hard to see sometimes, but at the very foot of the monster is a small, tiny light radius. Can you see it? Can you see the small, tiny light radius? Um, of course, I got run around for a second. And there's a reason for this. Um, the reason for this is that Cloak of Shadows actually only lets you use it once during its duration. So that you can see the radius under their feet. If you walk within the radius, they will attack you. Um, and this is because they're blind, they're not dead. And, you know, they, they can still feel you bump into them, basically. And that's basically what that is, is you've basically bumped into them. So they know you're there. Now, when you use Cloak of Shadows, it's on a timer. Um, it also only applies to the monsters that are immediately within the position. So as you can see, these guys are blinded, but this one is not. Because she wasn't in range of the Cloak of Shadows ability when I used it. And this is one of the issues with the Cloak of Shadows ability. Is that it only applies once. And is only usable once during the time period that it states. So right now you can see it says 18 seconds, right? Well, let's go ahead and dump some points into it and let's bring it up to level 30. Well, at level 30, now it's at 37 seconds, which means I can only use it once every 37 seconds. That, now that does mean, however, that it will last for 37 seconds. So the monsters will be stuck in this state for 37 seconds, completely unable to see or do anything, um, you know, unless you walk within range of them for 37 whole seconds. The problem, however, is that you cannot use the ability again until those 37 seconds are up. So you are stuck, essentially, in this state of not being able to use the ability for longer because you've invested in it. Um, and this is unfortunate because Cloak of Shadows is really one of those abilities which is actually quite amazing. And uh, it kind of sucks that you can't utilize the ability more than one time during the duration of the ability. And it also kind of sucks that putting points into it to make it better kind of ties your hands on how often you can use it. And it sucks even worse because, quite honestly, the skill is absolutely amazing in terms of what it can do. And we're going to go over that real quickly and talk about what Cloak of Shadows does and why it's so freaking broken overpowered. So Cloak of Shadows has many different facets um, of the skill. First off is a range of 20 yards, which is pretty big. Um, conviction Aura, for instance, goes 13.3 yards, so this is much bigger than a Conviction Aura. It doesn't really cost much mana, and then on top of that, you can't really spam it anyway, so the mana cost is really negligible. Um, it increases your defense by a pretty large margin when it's activated. So right now you can see I have 1,382 defense, and if I were to go out into the Cold Plains right now and utilize the ability... Um, on a bunch of monsters, which you don't even have to have monsters to get the defense bonus. But let me just go ahead and just right-click. Now, all these monsters are nice and, uh, and cloaked shadow did it did right? Except for the guys that were outside of the 20 yards. And now I have a defense bonus of 2,722. This defense bonus lasts for the duration of the ability, which is 37 seconds. So for 37 seconds, I now have a pretty decent little defense bump, which is not going to go away until the ability goes away on the monsters. Now, from what I've been able to gather, Cloak of Shadows is actually comprised of several different 
effects. Um, the defense ability is separate from the effect on the monsters. So the effect on the monsters is something that is specific to them. And the defense is something that is specific to you. So if I were to go to, say, Outer Cloister real quick where there's no monsters... Um, and then use the ability, you'll notice that I still get the defense bonus, despite the fact that no monsters were affected by the actual ability. Um, another ability that Cloak of Shadows has is the ability to reduce the enemy's defense by 95%. Now, the reduction in defense of 95% is kind of mind-bogglingly insane, as negative defense actually is one of the best ways to increase the uh, ch chance to hit on a target. Um, if you increase your attack rating, that's one thing, but if you decrease the defense of the enemy, you can increase the chance to hit massively on those enemies, which means that it's a very easy way to get better attack rating against monsters. This increase to attack rating uh, that you get is 95% versus all monsters except for bosses, um, and it's half as effective on bosses, which means you're going to get, what, like 42.5%? Uh, uh, forty, like Yeah, something like that, like 42.5%. Um, or 40, 45, 47.5%. I think it's 47.5% on a boss, which means the boss's defense is still going to get reduced by about half um, when you're utilizing this ability. Now, Cloak of Shadows has a third effect, and the third effect seems to be the blinding effect. So the blinding effect, as you can clearly see, is actually pretty crazy. However, notice that the mo the elite or the champion or whatever is still attacking me. Um, the blinding effect doesn't work on the champion, but the negative defense effect does. So this is a kind of an odd one, and you might even notice that for some reason or another it seems like some of these guys might be following me, but they're not following me, they're following the champion. So some of the ones that are just seemingly blinded but still able to attack are actually following the champion around because they're tied to the champion. Now, I can't use the ability again until the timer runs out, but I was able to use it just then, and now everything's blind again except for what was outside the radius. This is one of the downsides of the ability, is that because of the fact that you can't spam it, um, you're going to often find yourself in situations where some monsters are just not under the effect. And it's really kind of an oddity in my book, because it's one of these skills that that you kind of don't want to dump points into because dumping points into it makes it a longer duration. And making it a longer duration also, in turn, makes it less spammable. And making it less spammable means that it is now less useful, despite the fact that the effects on it are higher. Um, and it's just one of those really weird ones that I just can't quite grab my, you know, wrap my head around. At a low level, as you can see at level 5, it's only a 12 second duration, which is actually pretty fast. But it only gives you 22% defense and 27% negative enemy defense. A couple points into it, though, and you can quickly bring that up to 50. Um, and a couple more points, and you can bring that up to like 72, 75%. It doesn't really require a whole lot of points before it starts to become very, very good in the negative enemy defense category. Um, the only real issue is, is that, like I said, as the higher you get it, the higher that negative enemy defense goes, the less useful it becomes because the less you can spam it. You might kill a monster within like five or six seconds, and 30 seconds on that duration might feel like an eternity. Um, so to recap, this skill seems to have three different effects. One is the defense bonus that happens to you, which is separate from everything else. Two is a blinding effect, which is on the actual monster. Um, three is a negative defense effect, which is on the monster as well. Now, from what I can tell with Cloak of Shadows, and uh, let me see if I can put something on to show you this. Um, Cloak of Shadows does actually function as a curse. So let me go, just doesn't really matter where. Um, let's go to Frigid Highlands. And uh, we're going to go up here and we're going to life tap these guys. Woo. And then I'm going to Cloak of Shadows. Um, and I did die because I didn't put any points in life. But you notice that the life tap is gone. 
Cloak of Shadows does actually function as a curse, and I'm not exactly sure which part of Cloak of Shadows functions as a curse, but one of them functions as a curse. Um, and, uh, and the part that functions as a curse for Cloak of Shadows does, in fact, overwrite curses. So if you are utilizing, say, Amplified Damage, if you're utilizing, um, you know, Decrepify, Life Tap, or any of those things, um, you definitely don't want to utilize Cloak of Shadows to overwrite that curse. Now, it is kind of still pretty easy to utilize, though. So let me, um, let me actually put some points into my HP so I don't die immediately. Um, but if we go out here into uh, one of these zones real quick, let's go to Canyon of the Magi. And uh, let's life tap the boy, or, or Cloak of Shadows them first. Um, then we'll life tap. Of course, I don't have my body. That's right. Hold on. All right, so Cloak of Shadows, and then Life Tap. Notice that you can, in fact, actually overwrite the curse that is applied with Cloak of Shadows by using a curse. So it's not exactly the end of the world to use Cloak of Shadows um, in a combat battle, like, if, for instance, like maybe if you're doing the Ubers or something like that, because, well, number one, you can't spam it anyway, right? So you're not going to keep overwriting the curses. You're just going to overwrite the curse once. And then you would just overwrite the curse back again with your life tap curse the second time. You'd still be able to get the defense bonus, and I think the negative enemy defense still applies to the target as well. Um, it's the only thing that you're going to overwrite, from what I can tell, is the blinding effect. Um, and then the blinding effect would no longer be active on your particular character, right? So that's just that's that's fine. I just realized I didn't have enough strength to put on any of my equipment. So it all went into my inventory instead. Is my body still on the ground? Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. <laughs> Anyway, back to Cloak of Shadows. When it comes to Cloak of Shadows, I definitely recommend at least putting one point into it. It's 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 a decent one for one point, and you can totally get good use out of it. Whether or not you want to stack points into Cloak of Shadows and make it into like one of your main abilities is up to you. You can actually get pretty high Cloak of Shadows just by having lots of plus to skills. You don't necessarily need to, you know, have, like, a ridiculously huge number of plus to skills. It's also kind of important to note that um, Cloak of Shadows doesn't really... Let me pull some of this stuff in real quick. Um, Cloak of Shadows doesn't really go past a certain point. So when you start leveling it up, one of the things you're going to notice is that it kind of caps out at around 95%. Um, the defense bonus keeps going a little bit past the 95% on the enemy defense, but the enemy defense kind of just stops going up at a certain point, which means that you really don't ever have to level it past the point where you get the maximum negative enemy defense. So if you were trying to max out that negative enemy defense to get that nice negative 95%, which is what I have right here, um, and let me uh, reset this again to show you what I mean. So pull up my spec and my crank for Dinkins. All right, so let me move my head out of the way because I know I'm in the way. So right here we've got 57%, uh, right? So 57 to 60, 60 to 63, 63 to 90, 69, 72 to 75, 75 to 78, 81 to 84, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. 90 to 93, and then 90 to 95, which means at level 28, it caps out on its negative enemy defense and can no longer go any further. So leveling it past this point doesn't really even seem worth it. Anything past this point is only going to give you bonuses to the defense and increases to the duration, um, which, as we were talking about earlier, you don't really want to increase the duration because increasing the duration actually makes it less useful, not more useful. Um, there are ways that you can get... Uh, Cloak of Shadows on non-assassin characters as well. Um, things like the uh, helmet, uh, 
the, uh, what is it, uh, Nadir, I believe is what it's called, which is uh, Nef tier. Um, it's a relatively inexpensive helmet, something that you can put together on just about any character with ease. So if you wanted to go to normal difficulty, um, you can walk straight to the Act 2 vendor, uh, and you can pretty much always buy a two-socketed helmet from her. And... Um, you take your Neft here, you put it in the uh, helmet, and you will get f basically free Cloak of Shadows um, do-janks. And if you don't see a two-socketed helmet in here, you can very easily just walk outside of town like this. Uh, keep in mind that there has to be... Everyone has to be out of town, or if you're by yourself, you just need to leave town. But but if you're in like an online game and there's multiple people sitting in town, it doesn't work. Everybody, everybody has to leave town. Um, so there we go, we got a two socket full, full helm, and we take our two socket full helm, and we throw in our, uh, Nef tier, I'm pretty sure is what it is. Nadir. I'm pretty sure Nadir is the right word. Yes, yes. Level 13 Cloak of Shadows is Nadir, which is exactly what I thought. So, Nif Tier. Um, and that gives us level 13, 9 charges of Cloak of Shadows. And it's such a cheap recipe, you could probably just use them up, throw it away, and make another one. <laughs> um, but basically what this is going to give you is it's going to give you this one right here, which is a level 13 Cloak of Shadows on a 22nd. It's negative 51% enemy defense, 46% to your defense, and uh, it's actually pretty darn nice. Usability-wise, um, especially on the helmet as you're running around trying to survive, you can definitely utilize this if you get into tight situations. Like, say I was running along and all of a sudden, I don't know, maybe I just made a mistake or I sneezed or something and I found myself surrounded by vultures. I could just go like this, cloak of shadows, and run out. Now all the vultures are completely ignoring my existence, and uh, and I can just continue on. Keep in mind, though, that you can't spam it again, just like the real skill. You can't spam it again until the real skill runs out, which the duration on this is 20 seconds, <coughs> which is going to give you the ability to spam it again 20 seconds later. Um, there are some other items, I think, that have Cloak of Shadows charges, but this is the main and cheapest and easiest one to put on your character uh, with level 13 Cloak of Shadows and 9 charges. It's pretty easy to get, pretty easy to make, pretty easy to maintain. Um, you could utilize it pretty much infinitely if you want to. Obviously, 9 isn't a whole lot, but the fact that you're limited to 20 second duration is the fact that, well, you can't burn them really quickly. I mean, if you multiply that out, um, 20 seconds times 9, um, that means that even if you sat there trying to actually burn them, um, you would have to spend 180 seconds to burn all the charges, which is three full minutes. So you would have to sit there for three full minutes, and you would have to spam the charges to get rid of all nine charges. And it's just an easy way that you can escape um, you know, some danger that you might be in. Uh, I think that's pretty much it for Cloak of Shadows. As always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, and uh, keep watching.